Renal clearance is a concept which is used to estimate glomerular filtration rate and renal plasma flow. Clearance of a substance is defined as volume of plasma that is cleared of that substance per minute. But uh, what is the meaning of this? That is volume of plasma which is completely cleared. Does that actually happen? See, we'll understand it uh, by taking one example. Say, suppose uh, we have 10 ml of plasma, some arbitrary numbers we'll take. So, 10 ml of plasma and uh, in this 10 ml, say, suppose 10 milligram of a substance is present. So, concentration of the substance will be 10 milligram in 10 ml. That is uh, 1 milligram per ml. Is it? it? Now, say suppose 4 milligram of substance is excreted in urine. So, how much substance will be left? Basically, 6 mg will be left. So, this 6 mg will now be present in 10 ml of the plasma. So, now the concentration becomes 6 milligram in 10 ml. So, that means this 6 milligram entirely will be distributed in the entire 10 ml something like this. But we are telling that clearance is basically plasma volume which is completely cleared. So instead of looking at it like this what uh, we can say that uh, say suppose this uh, 10 ml is there then we can say that this 6 mg which is left because 4 mg has been excreted this 6 mg is present in actually 6 ml of plasma that is the concentration will be same 1 milligram per ml and this 4 ml of plasma is now completely cleared understanding so this is just another way of looking at it in this in this uh, method of looking we are saying that the concentration of the substance has decreased so in 10 ml only 6 mg is present but in this example in which we are explaining the definition of the clearance plasma volume cleared then we can say that okay the 6 mg is present in 6 ml of plasma and 4 ml is completely cleared. Okay, so if we determine clearance rate of substances, we can actually use that clearance rate to determine GFR and renal plasma flow. So how is this clearance rate determined? So to understand this, uh, let us take an example. Say the plasma concentration of a substance is uh, 10 milligram in 100 ml of plasma that is if we calculate it, it will come to 0 0.1 milligram per ml of the plasma. And say amount of uh, substance excreted in urine per minute is 2 milligram per minute. Now, this amount which is excreted in urine per minute can also be written as uh, like this. Uh, that is concentration of the substance in urine into volume of the urine per minute that is known as the flow rate of urine because see we know that mass is equal to concentration into volume. So, this amount we can mention like this also. So, we know that uh, in plasma 0 0.1 milligram of substance is present in 1 ml of plasma and uh, we are saying that 2 milligram of the substance is lost in urine per minute. So, if we find out that this 2 milligram was present in how much amount of plasma, we can say that okay, that much amount of plasma has been cleared of that substance, isn't it? So, that we can calculate by simple math that if 0 0.1 mg was present in 1 ml of plasma, 2 mg will be present in uh, this much plasma which is being cleared per minute. So, this is the logic of it and uh, we can derive the formula also by this. Uh, that uh, clearance rate of a substance. See this 2 milligram per minute we have already mentioned as concentration of the substance in urine into flow rate of the urine and uh, this portion if you see this is nothing but the plasma concentration of the substance. So, this is inverse is it? So, plasma concentration of the substance is the denominator. So, this is the formula for the clearance. But one thing you should be very clear that for using this concept, this formula for uh, clearance, the substance which we are using for determining the clearance, it should be freely filtered in the tubules. 
So this term is very important, freely filtered, meaning see whatever concentration is there in plasma, same concentration of the substance should be in the tubular filtrate. Okay. Now to understand uh, that which substance is used for uh, glomerular filtration rate and renal pl plasma flow, let us take three scenarios. Okay. So, plasma concentration of a substance is say 1 milligram per ml and uh, we suppose that 125 ml of plasma is getting filtered in the tubules per minute. We have three scenarios. In one, 125 milligram of substance is excreted per minute. Now you see that uh, since uh, the plasma concentration is of the substance is 1 milligram per ml, so if 125 milligram of substance is excreted, that means 125 ml of plasma is getting cleared of the substance. In the second scenario, 120 milligram of substance is excreted per minute. That is lesser, isn't it? So it is only 120 ml of plasma is getting cleared of the substance. So 125 ml is being filtered, which is carrying 125 mg of the substance with it within, within the tubules. But in the second scenario, lesser substance is getting excreted per minute. So obviously the plasma cleared is also less with the concept uh, which we have uh, discussed till now. In the third scenario, 130 mg of substance is being excreted. That is more substance is being excreted per minute than that which is getting filtered. So that means more plasma is also getting cleared. That is 130 ml, right? So, if you see that in the first one, basically the clearance of the plasma is same as that of the glomerular filtration rate. That means whatever substance is getting filtered that is being excreted. It is neither being uh, secreted into the tubules nor it is being reabsorbed. So, you see any substance which follows this can be used for the estimation of the glomerular filtration rate. In the second one, actually this lesser amount of substance is being excreted. That means filtered was 125 mg, but excreted is lesser. So that means some amount of the substance has been reabsorbed in the tubules. In the third one, if you see more substance is being excreted, that means the substance has been secreted in the tubules. So this third kind of substance is used for estimation of the renal plasma flow. How that we will see little bit later. This needs a little detailing. Okay. So what is the substance uh, which is used for estimation of GFR? So that substance should be non-toxic. Obviously should be freely filtered. Any substance should be freely filtered that I have already told. And it should be neither secreted nor reabsorbed. Because if it is secreted, it will give a higher value. If it is reabsorbed, it will give a lower value of GFR. So one such substance is inulin uh, which is used for estimation of the GFR but uh, inulin is not a natural substance so it needs to be injected into the body. But apart from inulin there is another substance creatinine which is used clinically because uh, actually this is physiologically produced in body since it is a byproduct of muscle metabolism and uh, mostly its excretion is uh, only dependent on GFR. So that is the one which is clinically used for estimation of GFR. However, there is some secretion in the tubules also for creatinine. Uh, so that means it will give a higher estimate of GFR. But the error which is there in calculation, the estimation of the creatinine, that there is some error in uh, estimation. So that cancel out this error which is caused due to the secretion. So basically it gives a correct value of the GFR. Now for renal plasma flow, we want a substance as I already told that uh, which should be secreted also. So try to understand this that basically this much amount of renal plasma is entering say, uh, say suppose X amount of the renal plasma is entering. Now some percentage of it that is uh, approximately 20 percentage of uh, renal plasma flow is getting filtered. Okay. So if a substance is freely filtered, that means 20% of the substance will also get filtered in the tubules. So that substance will be present here, isn't it? 
So if only this much is being cleared, then we will have the estimation of GFR, not of renal plasma flow. We want that whatever plasma is entering into the renal tubule should be cleared of the substance. So that is done by actually active secretion of the substance. So the entire plasma in which it is uh, present is getting cleared. So hence it will give an estimation of the renal plasma flow. So substance which is uh, used for estimation of renal plasma flow is a para amino hippuric acid. So that is the one which is being secreted. But one thing you should remember that again uh, this is a substance which is being uh, injected into the um, person. The concentration of the substance in plasma should be less than 20 milligram per 100 ml. If we inject more the concentration will increase. But why do we want it like that? See whenever there is secretion there are certain transporters involved in the tubules and all transporters have a maximum limit of transport. So if the concentration is uh, greater than 20 milligram per 100 ml, they will not be able to secrete an entire uh, substance into the tubules. Okay, so that is the reason that uh, the concentration of PA should be less than 20 milligram per 100 ml of plasma. Okay, uh, one more thing here that uh, even though we are considering pH for estimation of the renal plasma flow, actually the blood which is entering into the kidneys goes to some places where nephrons are not there. Like uh, there is perirenal fat, then there is a renal capsule, there is pelvis, colysis. So if where nephrons are not there, obviously the substance cannot be secreted into the tubules from there. So that substance will remain in the plasma itself. So that plasma is actually not getting cleared of the substance, isn't it? So the amount of uh, plasma clearance which we get from PAH is actually known as effective renal plasma flow. It is not the actual renal plasma flow, it is the effective renal plasma flow. And it depends that how much PAH has been extracted from the plasma. It is known as the extraction ratio for the substance. So in this case approximately 90% of the pH is being getting secreted into the tubule. So the extraction ratio is 0 0.9. Only 10% is not getting secreted. So to determine renal plasma flow, we just have to use one formula where we can use effective renal plasma flow divided by the extraction ratio. So generally this effective renal plasma flow comes to around uh, 600 ml per minute and uh, extraction ratio is 0 0.9. So this gives approximately 650 ml per minute of renal plasma flow. Now from uh, this value of renal plasma flow we can determine renal blood flow also if we know the hematocrit. So this is there is a formula for that renal plasma flow into 1 divided by 1 minus hematocrit. How that formula is achieved and all that is not the subject of this video. So but basically if we know the renal plasma flow by the clearance of pH then we can determine renal blood flow as well. Okay. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, do like the video, share the video with others and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel Physiology Open. Thank you.